Good morning, everybody. It is Happy Hump Day, and I'm multiple days behind on my readings because I have not been up to par. So, I had a doctor's appointment yesterday, a psychiatrist appointment for the state of Florida. That went well. It, I, I, I truly think that I could call him up and we could go out to dinner. I mean... <laughs> craziest thing but anyhow we'll see what the state of Florida says but on that note it's happy hump day so why not have three devotions for one day why not right lots of homework though <laughs> oh well it is what it is so Monday was December 27th yeah and my vision is not so great today Read 1 John 1, verses 1 through 7, and Psalms 11. And we are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. 1 John 1, verse 4. Monday's title was A Complete Joy. While the formal celebration of Christmas may be over, the season continues for the 12 days from Christmas to Epony. Epony. This is a time to let the full meaning of the observance seek in. We dare not sell short the joy we know with the birth of Jesus. We can still sing joy to the world. There is no need to silence our song. If we do, our joy is not complete. Joy is complete only when it is spread from person to person. Amen. The Apostle John wrote, to other Christians so that his joy would be united with that of others who understand what the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus mean. Although separated by distance and time, Christians share the joyous fellowship of the redeemed. That joyous light continues to shine for us, our neighbors and our fellow Christians through all time and around the globe. We continue to speak and sing about Jesus entering human history. Our joy becomes complete when it spreads from person to person as the love of Jesus fills our hearts, mouths, and hands. And as we engage with the people around us, let us all rejoice. Lord Jesus, allow us to share the joy we know over your birth so others may know it with us. So yesterday was the 28th Tuesday. And that homework assignment was to read Revelation 19, verses 5 through 9, and Psalm 96. Let us rejoice and exalt and give him the glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. Revelation 19, verse 7. Yesterday was share in heavenly joy. Christmas gives us 12 days to focus on heaven coming to earth. I've always felt like that since I arrived here. The Son of God left his throne in heaven and descended to, descended to earth to carry out his work of redemption. The Almighty God humbles himself to become our brother, fully human in every way. The heavenly assumes the earthly. Jesus had to descend because of our obsession with the earthly. Worldly cares and concerns concern our thoughts and our time. The darkness of the world to which Jesus descended is our darkness. The darkness of sin, which causes us to worry and toil and die. Jesus descended to earth and our hearts, eyes, and voices are lifted to heaven. The voice sounds from heaven, calling us to raise our voices in praise to God on his throne. Jesus ascended to earth, and the heavens rejoice that he redeems his creation. Jesus invites us to the heavenly feast spread in celebration of our union with him. He clothes us in the white linen of his righteousness, and because Jesus descended, we share in the joy of heaven and raise our voices with the heavenly host in a joyous song of praise. 
think that's Ed Trinity. They start singing. I said, hallelujah, hallelujah. I think so. I keep wanting to think holy, holy, but I don't know. Oh God, we give you glory for the salvation you secured for us through the gracious work. Hear our praise for Jesus' sake. So today, hump day. Wednesday, December 29th, TikTok. Read First Chronicles 16, verses 23 through 24, and Psalm 97. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice. And let them say among the nation, the Lord reigns. Amen. First Chronicles 16, verse 31. Today's title is joyful songs. Can't wait to read this one. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. That's all I remember. <laughs> Serve the Lord with gladness. I don't know. They just pop in my head. David rejoiced when the Ark of the Covenant was brought to reside in the tabernacle, which had been constructed for it. The Ark was a presence of God among his people. This was a wondrous day. So David sang a song of thanksgiving. This was a wonderful day, not only for David, but as the song reflects, also for all creation. God is the God of Israel, certainly, but he is also the God of all creation. Thus, the joyful song of David invites every nation, even all of heaven and earth, to rejoice with him. In Jesus, God tabernacled with his people in a new way not in a tent or even in a temple built by human hands, but as a human, miraculously incarnated in the womb of Mary, knit together cell by cell, even as we are. He came to that which was his own, the descendants of Abraham. But he also came as the redeemer of the world. Joyful sounds sounded forth again. Joyful songs sound forth still. We rejoice as the Lord comes among his people to reign in grace and mercy. His reign is established and lasts for all eternity. In the person of Jesus, the kingdom of God is brought to us. Sing for joy. Heavenly Father, you come among us, bringing life and salvation. May all creation join with us with our joyous song. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hope you enjoyed my videos, um, or my three devotions. Now I'm caught up to date. Hope you have a happy hump day. Say some prayers for me. And some for Harley, because Harley's struggling again. So, just take it day by day. We're both alive. We, he woke us both up today, so... Let's see what we can do. Right now I'm in my trusty leg warmers because I need to squeeze the edema out of my... Yeah, at least it's better in my hands. I had to take my rings off my right hand because they were... felt like they were suffocating my hand the other day, so... Um, one day at a time. That's all I can say. So on that note, I hope you have a great happy hump day. Again, say some prayers for us and for anybody else that you know that needs them. Have a good day.